back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Um, didn't the Divergent movies die? Like, they, uh... They were gonna make, like, three of them, and then the first one did so badly, they didn't even make the second. Something like that. They turned it into a TV movie? Hold R. You've been watching too many other streamers, honestly. You need to insulate yourselves, you know, like, for the difficult lives that lie ahead of you. If you face strife, you know, you, you can't hold R, IRL. You gotta, you gotta pull yourself out, you know? If a mouse gets stuck in a bucket of cream, you can either drown or you can move your little legs so fast you turn the butter into cream and climb out. Exactly. One bite at a time. I know that that's uh, it's a Catch Me If You Can quote, but I don't know it from Catch Me If You Can. I know it from mouth quoting uh, Catch Me If You Can. Catch Me If You Can was about me? I don't think so. I don't think your name is Frank Abagnale, or whoever Tom Hanks played in that movie. What do you say when you get a strike in bowling? Is, this, is there a real punchline to this one? I don't know. Who, you could say, who do you think you are, I am? Usually, like, it's such a common occurrence for me that I try not to draw too much attention to it. I just go, like, like a nice little fist pump, you know? No, I do not say Stee Reich. That's classless. That'll get you kicked out of the lucky lanes. No, no, no. <laughs> Have you ever injured yourself while bowling? You get a bruise on your ankle sometimes. That's about it. Like... Or you, maybe sometimes like your thumb gets a little jammed when you're when it comes out of the ball. But you, you get a, like a, an ankle bruise, like depending on the way that your... Uh, your gait is in advance of your shot. Oh, come on. You, you hit the ball against your ankle as you release, and you get a little bruise there. It happens. Who does that? I'm t I mean, like, you're asking the authority. Then when the authority's like, this is what happens, you're like, based on my inexperience, I doubt it. I play. I was in a bowling league because I, I was, like, Mr. Popular. Uh, as, a, as a small child, as an adolescent, I played in a bowling league. People were bruising their, their ankles left, right, and center. Lore. What was your average? I can't remember honestly, but like I think my highest bold game ever was like a two 220 something or 230 something. Never even came close to sniffing at a uh, at a perfect game, but had some some solid ones for sure. Don't, don't explode into... You're, you're creating too much! I, I can't get out of the way. Have you ever crapped in a bowling alley bathroom? It's kind of a personal question. Um, you know, it might sound ridiculous considering I... You knew that was coming. Considering I played in a league, but I honestly think the answer is probably no. It's not possible, man. Like, um, it's, uh, I, I really, I wouldn't say I had, like, a complex about it, but, uh, I really endeavored not to be, like, a, a public, uh, pooper. 
I mean, in, in 10 years of school, from like junior kindergarten to eighth grade, I think I probably did a number two in the school bathroom, like, I would say less than 10 times. It was definitely like less than once a year. It was only if there was like some kind of emergency that I would, that I would do it. Otherwise, I would, I would just hold it until I got home. I wonder if this will give us a deal with the devil that's the keeper style, because we use it on this floor. Could be interesting. I did it like twice from first to twelfth grade. I mean, that's I'm I'm impressed, honestly. I I'm, we I had different gut bacteria, I guess. Every once in a while, I just found myself in a position where there was no choice. I do remember though, like once I uh, in second grade, I put up my hand to ask to go to the bathroom. And then the teacher was like, yes, Ryan. And I was like, can I go take a poop? And she was like, you don't have to say that. You can just say, may I go to the bathroom, please? <laughs> it was a pretty good own, in, in my opinion. One of the better owns. Oh, at work, I, I would poop... As often as I could get away with. I mean, it, it sucks actually, like, okay. Oh, stonks? Legitimate stonks? Um, it sucks because, like, as a... When I worked in an office, you could absolutely just poop. You could probably take two mid-length poops daily without anybody even noticing. You know? Like, you, you could take... You could, you could poop 15 minutes a day. Nobody would, would notice. Um, in fact, they're probably happy to see you gone. Let's, let's save our, uh, money to spend on a deal with the devil on the next floor. Seems very sensible to me. Um, but when I worked as a teacher, literally, you just had to do, like, you know, you had six minutes between classes, and you had to share a bathroom, uh, with the kids. Which was demoralizing, man. Because they had, like, one adult stall and then like one kid stall sometimes you'd end up pooping like next to your students and they'd be like trying to have a conversation with you on the toilet and you're like like kevin i really didn't want you to know that like your teacher's poo smelled this bad like this is too familiar and like oh hold on i think i got a yeah headphone based issue yeah it's messed up man like it's a bad system and then sometimes, like, the, the really young kids, you know, they were, like, five years old, so their bathroom habits weren't that good. They would, like, open the door while they were pooping and be like, can you help me? And of course you're gonna, you're like, you know, it's not in my job description, but you're like, yeah, what do you need, buddy? But you're like, you know, I don't, I don't get paid enough to, like, <laughs> have to deal with this kid's toilet problems. <laughs> There was also, they, they had like support staff at the school that was sometimes you'd be like, uh, Hannah teacher, Hannah teacher, Kevin has a real problem going on here. Yeah, but then if you could hold it in until you got home, that was the sweetest poop. Didn't have to deal with any of that nonsense. Oh, there were a lot of Kevins. Kevin, very, very common, like... ESL name. Yikes. That is not what you're looking for. How much did it cost to rent in South Korea? That is, uh, it's, it's an industry secret. I, at, well, it depends, at least, like, my, my information is, like, outdated now, right? Like, because this was 10 years ago. Uh, but. Help me. Uh, we, the, the school that I worked at gave you housing, but it was like as leverage to give you a smaller salary. So they, they paid for your rent, but in return you made like, you know, less money. Which is like almost kind of like, I mean, criminal, <laughs> I think, but... Because uh, I, I also think that they happen to own the building, which is... You know, like, let's just put it this way. Like, when you're going into this job, like, you know, you're, you're not going in because you're like, this is like a, 
you know, an awesome career. You're like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do after college. So, like, let's just have kind of like a year of traveling that is also working and might generate... I'm dead. Uh, I'm alive. Might generate, like, some a little extra cash, you know? Got him. Okay. I don't know. I feel like bad PhD could be fun. Obviously, we don't care about Book of Belial. So this, this should be flies. I think. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. It's an interesting item, at least. Zane alert. <laughs> Big summer blowout. I do like bad PhD. I think it's... Oh, no. <laughs> well, still kind of stuck. Ah, okay, whatever. Just let me out, man. Rude. Do I have a bomb? I do have a bomb. Were you able to accumulate money given the salary? Yeah, I mean, like, straight up... Uh, I mean, I, I don't mind being open about it. Like, I think my, my salary when I worked in Korea ended up being about... 1700 bucks a month US which is like pretty not good and you're working a lot and you're working with kids which usually you know you would hope had like a little premium attached to it um, but they do pay for your rent so that cuts you, you could consider that that maybe saves you like 30 percent um, but for most people, and, and you don't really pay tax on it either, like, you end up being in the lowest income bracket, and there's, like, a, a tax treaty between South Korea and, and Canada and the U.S. where, like, you know, you pay tax monthly, but then you get, like, a huge refund when you leave, and then you pay tax in your home country. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not exactly, like, the kind of salary where you're like, I'm gonna be happy about dealing with a lot of BS. But most people do end up saving a lot of money. You know, food is cheap. Like, just the standard of living or the cost of living is pretty cheap in South Korea, or at least it was then. Let's see what this does. Birthright does something different as every character, right? I don't know. So, a lot of people, like, um, used it. As, they did it for a couple of years to, like, pay off as much student loan debt as possible. That's more than I get for my PhD stipend? Yo, but that's like... Yo, like you... But you're getting a, like a PhD. I was getting... I don't... I have nothing to show for my time there. <laughs> you, you're getting like a... It, well, hold on. I, I didn't mean to alt tab there, but... You're, you're kind of coming out uh, on the other side. You're you're going to end up being the person that, like, sends the S downhill, right? Like, once you got the PhD, five years later, you, you've got, like, a PhD candidate working under you for peanuts or something. That's the way I understand it, at least. Not really? That's true. I don't really know what I'm talking about. What do you do, and, and this is not meant to be negative at all, sincerely. What do you do with a PhD? Like, with an undergrad, you can't do anything for most... It, it, look, okay, there's some exceptions, all right? Computer science, engineering, etc., etc. With a master's, you can do anything, right? But then with a PhD, aren't you kind of, like, gated into just becoming a... a professor? I, th I thought it was like the PhD is just like the it's the track into professional academia, not at all. Oh, that's a beast, me, man. You see that dodge? When I went, this is a true story. I was a good student in high school. When I went to university, I had no idea what the difference between a bachelor's and a master's degree was. I honestly thought that, uh, at first, like, I figured it out eventually. 
But at, at first, I thought that, like, a bachelor's is what you get. Like, if you just get your degree but don't do that well. And then a PhD, or a, a master's is what you get when you do really well in school. I thought it was, like, the same time investment, but it was, like, the, the it's based on how well you did. Obviously, that's not the case. <laughs> I wish. Having a PhD would be pretty sick, though. I would definitely be one of those... No, I wouldn't. But I'll say that I am for the joke. I would list myself as a doctor. Even if, you know, if my PhD was not an MD, I would still list myself as a doctor. 100%. That's Dr. Lion? You should, though? Yeah, but like, you know. It's not, you, when they go like, is there a doctor on the plane? They're not like, oh, we needed, uh, <laughs> please, I, I, yes, okay, I'm, uh, this is Dr. Lion. Um, oh, d help me, this man collapsed on the plane. He doesn't know uh, where he is, and we don't know what's wrong with him. All right, um, what's your favorite of Sophocles' uh, Greek classics? Sir, what do you think about, uh, Clintomnestra? Oh, yes, I'm a doctor of, uh, of the classics at the University of Phoenix Online. There is a good bit there. Absolutely. If you were like, you know, is there a doctor on board? This man's sick. Okay, uh, tell me about your mother. You know, they're like a, they're a, you know, they're like a psychiatrist or whatever. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be a pretty good joke. That'd be a pretty good. It's probably been done, right? It's probably been done. I don't hate it. I'll tell you. I don't even know who Clintum Nestra is. She's she's from one of those. She from like Saturnalia or <laughs> something like that. Wait, do I need two bombs? Am I stupid? I'm stupid. Okay, that's fine. We'll just get one here. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. That's the stats up. Ah, oh! ah, oh, it's Agamemnon's wife. That's right. Bad trip gives us flies. Okay. Amnesia. Let's not take it yet. Experimental pill? I don't know, man. I'll take it. Luck down, damage up. Speed down, damage up. Okay, we let's not get too <laughs> ahead of ourselves. But our damage is looking pretty sick. 0 0.66 speed is a little on the low side. Do I have a bomb? I do. Poggy. You know what we could do? Two No, we need those bombs. That's right. <laughs> I was like, we could get Pandora's box to give us uh, a speed upgrade. Possibly. What music have you been listening to lately? Uh, it's a little known album called uh, The Rational Reminder Podcast. Uh, discussions about five-factor portfolio management starring Ben Felix and Cameron Passmore. Analysts of PWL Capital. You're absolutely right. I should have I should have taken this pill. That's my bad. I I do like that there was one person in in the sea of resident sleepers that said pog. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for your pogs. I appreciate it. That's all I got. I'll just repeat it again a couple more times. I don't want to do this. I don't really want to do this. And now, if you had to do any professional job, what would you choose? You didn't put within reason, so I'm gonna say CEO. Uh, I'm gonna say NHL All Star. No, baseball, but I want to be a designated hitter. That's, what do you think is the best sport? If we're talking about maximum money versus, like money versus work, but also putting in a little injury factor as well. I kind of believed in golf for the record until I watched that Tiger Woods documentary and found out that he like 
absolutely destroyed his back somehow. Like, I was like, I, I, look, I get that he's a world-class athlete. But while I was watching the documentary, I was like, bro, how did you screw up your back so bad? It's golf. It's not, you know, you're in the middle of golfing and like Stone Cold Steve Austin comes over and throws you through a folding chair or something like that. Like, I'm like, how'd you mess up your back so bad in a sport that like 70 year olds play just because it gives them the best chance to stay active? <laughs> All right, because I forgot he was, uh, he trained to be a Navy SEAL. That's right. I, I actually genuinely just forgot about that part where he... And yeah, in the documentary, they were like, and the Navy SEALs would just, like, kick the crap out of him. And it's not funny, but just... Just just a little weird, for sure. Just a little strange. Yeah, there was a period where Tiger Woods was like, I'm gonna be a Navy SEAL. I'm mad. Yes, yes! No, please. I'm begging. Don't explode on that. Just hit the boss, dude. Thank you. You're the only thing I got that does damage. Natural SEAL progression. Or nat natural career profession. Golfer to Navy SEAL. No, I, here's... You know what he did? He did golfer to Navy SEAL to golfer. He went, uh, he went back and forth, like, like, Michael Jordan. Okay, I mean, this could be super valuable. Look, if I get a penny, I'll probably buy it. We got keys. Golden chests are good value. We'd like to become Guppy. We gotta give it a try. Let's keep exploring. I mean, like, we're in this for the long haul. It's a heck of a trip. I'm not taking the pill yet. I'll take the pill when I leave. It's three flies. Everyone just freaking chill out. I mean, we're, we're staring down the barrel right now of possibly not getting a single win today. We are doing, like, some of the, I mean, obviously, like, the hardest challenges, but also it's just kind of like it's a hard game. It sneaks up on you. Birthright makes wooden nickel guaranteed to drop a coin. Really? I thought we didn't get a coin drop when we started on the boss, but I might be mistaken. It seems like it's doing some crazy good work for us on the percentages here. Okay, that just, I didn't think my speed was uh, that bad, but it is. I don't want to spend too much here. Blow him up. Blow him up. Money? Not funny? This is so risky, but we're out here. Okay, I just gotta bake it into my brain, alright? The right path to take. Right, right, up, and then all the way to the left. Oh, baby. Right? Right. Up. Milk the blood bank? It's actually like a really good idea. At first I was like, where do the coins come from, genius? And then I was like, ah, the blood bank. <laughs> oh yeah, but as the keeper, the blood bank is not guaranteed to pay out with coins. Or at least it wasn't, um, yeah. Yeah, where are the coins coming from? Genius. I'm gonna take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. It's from a Steven Seagal movie. I can't remember what it's. I, I, all I remember is it's not under siege. Can I also tell you something? 
How the heck are we going to get into the special path here? It's, it's going to be a challenge, I'll tell you that. I guess we just uh, do it, forehead. Just be built different? Do you think hard mode is more difficult now, or am I just rusty? Uh, it's, it's a lot more difficult now. I mean, like, empirically. Not, not just because there's new enemies, but, like, genuinely, like, the, there have been mathematical nerfs. The, the most deadly of all nerfs. It's easier to path with flight, maybe get the Bible. It, you know, it's one of those things where I, I'm gonna choose to keep the item that it gives the, okay, that's a little, what I was gonna say is I'm gonna keep the item that gives the keeper a chance to win, uh, the wooden nickel, but my brain does that from time to time as well. It forgets about the fact that wooden nickel is basically essential and instead just goes like, oh my God, it's so loud, let me in. Instead, just goes like, ah, you know what? Maybe we could try to take something else. Okay, smart fly turns us into Beelzebub. Look at that. Now we got uh, we got it all figured out. Flying is good. Speed is grand. Okay, I need your help, chat. What on earth is golden thing? <laughs> Members card pog. What okay, what does it do? No. See in this in this business I don't say take it. Must buy. I describe its effect to me, please. It gives you an extra shop in the shop. Makes shop pog expensive extra shop floor. Okay. So if I'm it unlocks the Costco floor. I don't know what this means. Makes it... You get a black market every shop. What? Okay. You know, I, I think it's one of those things I'm just going to have to pick up. <laughs> and then... <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Let me see what's going on here. We just take it, then you understand. So none of these do anything for us. Really. Um, but it's good to know. Like, I don't think the miter is going to be good as the keeper. I'll sp spend seven cents for there's option. Or there's options. Because being able to choose our item from the boss is worth a lot. Like, I think we got a good thing going here. Still very tough to win. But certainly, like, I'm, I'm looking at my DPS. I'm feeling good. I'm looking at my HP. I'm feeling close to as good as you can. And now we got some, some extra opportunities. Less damage we take, the more money we get from wooden nickel. The more money we get from wooden nickel, the more likely we'll be able to take deals with the devil in the future. That's good stuff. The more likely we'll be able to make that bonus shop work for us. I don't know why we're charming enemies so frequently either, but I'm, I'm not against it. Is that what Mulligan does now? Oh, Beelzebub! Beelzebub! Of course. I knew that. I was just testing to see if you did. We... Oh, because we can fly, dummy. Um, you know, as the keeper, there's a case to be made that this might not be so bad, but I don't think I can do it just yet. I don't think I can do it just yet. We gotta think about it. The bonus shop also pulls from all pools. Oh, baby. You do have Black Candle. Yeah, but I'm trying to think about, like, what the, the positive... Like, like what's the point of taking Cursed Eye? There's got to be more of a point than just you can take it with no downside. Like, there has to be an upside. Because we have to go back into the room now, especially. Higher DPS? I, I In Zoomer terms, I say cap to that, though. I don't know. Do you think it... Do you think it's meaningfully higher DPS? I'm skeptical. I think I gotta march to the beat of my own drum. If I'm gonna lose, I'd, I'd rather lose on my own... Uh, on my own merits here. I mean, so we have to do this. That's just a given. Really wanted that to pay out. 
And then... Yo, placenta's pretty sick. I feel like the bone heart doesn't do anything for us. So I think we... But experimental treatment is so spicy if we lose HP. So I think we have to take the marrow. I, oh, it just gave us some flies. And I'll tell you, I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. This run has a chance. I'm not going to run ads, but follow me. We're at very near, we're 11 followers away from 412. I apologize to the YouTube audience, but you, you got to go. You got to go. Click the follow button and I won't run ads. See you in a moment. All right, YouTube, call off the dogs. Call off the dogs. We're back. Bubbly in tow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Upside down Frank or Z. What a world. What flavor is that? Oh, that's the peach bubbly. Thank you for asking. Ooh. I forgot what I was doing. We have to hit all the buttons. We have to go to the, the super realm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I remember now. You were about to take Cursed Eye. Nice try. 10 out of 10 bait, mate. So we, sh we won't be able to fly when we do this, unfortunately. But that's okay. It is what it is. This is like, oh, uh, Tomo, you'd like to come in, huh? Okay, Tomo. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, Tomo, welcome. Don't get in the cords, though. Hey, don't get in the cords, in the cords, in the cords. Don't get in the cords. Hey, don't go in the baby playpen, either. That's not for cats. Tomo, he's getting in the cords. Yo, you freaking get in the box. Okay, he got in the box. No cats allowed. Yeah, I'm trying to bring back Trollololo. I think it's a pretty good meme. A top tier meme. How much pizza is socially acceptable to eat at a party? Well, you never take a second. Well, it depends on the size. If it's reasonable. That hurts. That hurts so much more. I'm going to die. Goodbye. If the size of the party is reasonable to remember everybody's consumption. Chill, chill. Then you don't take a second piece until everybody else has taken their first piece. I knew it. I was like, I can't get out of the way of the freaking fly, man. Ah! 
<laughs> Here we go again. Um, yeah, you, you don't take your second piece until somebody else has taken their... Uh, until everybody else has finished their first piece. If you're in a situation where, like, there's so many, maybe like a pizza party, for example, I don't know. I think the idea of the host is that you kind of eat to your heart's content. I mean, like, what you shouldn't do, I guess, is is treat it as if it's like, you know, like, uh, if you're at the pizza party, you should remember you're not at the party to just eat as much pizza as possible. Like, it's so everybody can have a fun time. Like many things in life, I don't think there's like a hard and fast rule that... I mean, the easy answer is like, don't be a weirdo about it or you won't get invited back, I guess. That's the easy answer. The more complicated answer, I don't know. You know, did, if, you, if you have to ask, you should probably slow down is the answer. <laughs> And don't even get me started about the about the crust situation, you know. If you're if you're eating a slice and then you throw your crust away, and then you'd go for a second slice right away because you're done with the first one, you gotta bake in like at least another 30 to 90 seconds for everybody to finish their crust before you start the next round. Don't be the person who like, you know, is 50% of the way through the, their slice of pizza and then grabs another one to put on their plate just so that nobody else can have it. That's too much. It's simply too much. Is it socially acceptable to ask to eat other people's crusts? I mean, you can... I think if it's a, a close friend or, like, a spouse, you can ask. If it's someone you basically just met or have, like, a business relationship with, absolutely not. It truly, it would be an unbelievable faux pas. That's interesting. Let me think about that for a second. <clears throat> I'm going to think about it a little longer. You know what? No, I'm not. We're just gonna take chaos. Cause in my head I was milling it about and I was like, well, we don't really need to get chaos because we can get deals from anything now. Um, you know, we can just pay for deals with our money. Like we're not gonna get gated out of the devil deal pool. So the, the use case for chaos is a little lower. And then in my head I just went, you know what? Like, don't be a baby. Like, just, just take it. Every other win like I've, I've ever gotten on a difficult challenge in Isaac has essentially just come from, go, you know, going my own way. Why not take the ladder? I want to save the money for deals with the devil on the next floor. I consider the ladder a low yield item. But high yeets? No, not really. Still, still pretty low yeet. All right. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Moving on. <laughs> now that's good stuff. Yeah, I used Dad's key to try to find the second secret room. Oh, like, literally, like, you, you know, you just gotta pick your battles in chat. Like, anybody that's like, you should take it over Wooden Penny, you can just discount it. They don't know what they're talking about. Like, they, honestly, they've probably never beaten Mom as Isaac, much less, like, you know, the Hush is the Keeper. You basically, there's probably some situations, like, you could concoct them. You can concoct any situation to support your point in this game, though. That's so good. Um... But, uh, 99% of the time, holding on to wooden nickel is going to be the right decision. And, like, 100% of the time, it's going to be a pretty good decision. Rarely are you going to encounter one where you're like, oh, I screwed myself by, by holding on to this amazing item. Okay, metronome is pretty bad. We don't need bombs immediately. Let's move along here. Save your money for a deal with the devil.
This, uh, yeah, I don't want to jinx it. I do kind of wish I had some bombs now, admittedly, but I'm glad we got money. So if we do things right... <laughs> don't, don't spin over here. If we do things right, we should have a pretty good chance to have a deal with the devil. I, although, now that I think of... It, you know what? I'm, I was about to get hit. Instead, I didn't because I'm built different. Um, I don't think a deal with the devil is that strong, though, because it's going to have uh, items from any pool. So it's possible that it's not going to be worth anything. But now, hold on. That's the that's the new D-Infinity. I think that's actually not good, unfortunately. Any other character, I would probably consider it. But uh, as the Keeper, I don't think you can do it. I think you got to stick with that wooden nickel. Any other character, you do it. Yo, new infinity, you can pick what dice you use? That's pretty sick. I still don't know what, uh, which one I would use, though. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm happy with where we stand. D6? If you use a D6, though, you reroll your, your wooden nickel. Shouldn't have picked it up. The nickel is the keeper is insanely good. Like, I, I'm surprised at how, like... I mean, we've been through this before, but I guess a lot of people weren't around, like, for, for some of the later, like, Afterbirth Plus episodes on YouTube. We don't really do Zane for Zane's sake anymore, because, like, it's not that much uh, fun to just be like, lull, like, I made a, an actual bad decision and lost. Like... Like, Chaos is a little Zane with some risk and, and a possible reward. But just getting rid of Wooden Nickel and being like, LOL, I'm dumb, is kind of like, I don't know, insubordinate and, and churlish. And plus, if you go zany, like, to the freaking, you know, till the sweat go drips down your you-know-whats every single time. Sure. It's not zany anymore. If you're, if you're always zany, then you're like, uh, you know, you're never zany. You're just like, I'm the guy who's afraid to win, so I just throw runs away. Haha, <laughs> I'm in charge of my own destiny. But your suffering is 20% of my value? Bro, have you been reading the backseating? Like, then you should be having, like, the 20% the of my value that's your suffering should have been, like, 5x this stream so far. Are you reading some of the advice that's coming in here? It's it, It'll blow your mind. You know, it's not great, but a 7 cent Robo Baby 2.0 is, is something. Worth more than the dang ladder, at least. Flying is good. Keeper does look funny. Look at the keeper smiling. No, 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 no. Well, hold on, we need bombs. Dross too. We need bombs. Any particular reason you're playing as uh, the keeper? Yeah, I mean we gotta play as everybody to like to unlock everything. You have a bomb? No, I mean I need bombs to go to the next uh, alt path. So we need to play as the Keeper at some point anyway, just to... Just to get everything unlocked that needs to get unlocked. Hold on, I'm just taking a little tolerance break for my own sanity. <laughs> I'm just looking at the at the at the wall. Thank you, Apollo. I appreciate it. that. Actually, you you've like a guardian angel. You have swooped down in a moment of great uh, strife for me, and you have gifted me salvation. I came one freight neuron away from losing my my mind, and then I I just a single shut up weirdos from Apollo has has given me the greatest gift of all. Some inner peace. No, no, no. 
Okay, that's fine. We, were, we weren't going to get a deal with the devil anyway. I'm not sweating it. Hold your bombs. This, this is spooky. No, oh, I'm bad. And take the pill. Shot speed up. That was a risky pill. I know what you do now. I know what you do now. Chill out. Couple of bombs here and there. Can of corn. Just remember what Mouth says. Can of corn and I'll be alright. Okay. Certainly not the item you're looking for. Certainly not the item you're looking for. We've already done Keeper Mega Satan. Okay, get me out of here. There's plays. There's plays. You drop two of these. You go to the boss trap room. You use the Emperor card. Not the Emperor, sorry. You use the Moon card to get out of the boss trap room. Or you, Okay, just, just relax on that for a second. As long as we don't walk into blue fires, we're, we're doing well. Still pretty good. Still very good. You got the bubbly burps, man. He's got the bubbly burps. <clears throat> okay. White fire. Mirror. Uh, definitely, I don't see myself fighting the boss on this one. Did you see that Apollo is getting a haircut? That's pretty exciting. That means uh, Mouth can't be far behind. I don't know. Mouth might keep the lettuce rolling, though. I don't know. Probably a better trinket. Oh, mouth is due, yeah. I mean, like, it. honestly, the long hair kind of suits him. I, I don't even mean that facetiously. Like, he's kind of like... I never thought about it, but he's kind of like a long hair sort of guy. Especially with the beanie on, it looks, uh, it looks cool. I'm vibing with it. Has anyone ever seen Malf without his hat? Uh, yeah, it's been a while though, for sure. Apollo, are you reading this, man? Is this what Among Us is like? <laughs> this I can't complain. It's just a staggering amount of, like, nonsense questions over and over. Oh my god. 500 people saying tinted rock when you don't have a bomb talking about mouth's hair 900 people say when are you getting your hair cut low? I thought all your friends were bald low like it's, it's crazy man Just chill out If you were funnier than me you wouldn't be watching me you'd be watching Chibli right now It's a simple calculus He's not on. That's true. He might, might have gone a little hard during Apex Legends yesterday. LFG. It's the Easter crowd. Yeah, I didn't realize. Like, guess what? Easter? You're like the new St. Patrick's Day for me. Welcome to the list of bad holidays. Yo, Mr. Inej? Thank you for the gifted subscription. I'm not gonna lie, it is it assuages the the salt slightly. Okay, hold on, hold on. That could be very good. No, don't hit me. We don't care about big fan. Like that item getting out of here, that's no big deal. I'm just wondering if sacrificial or Roba baby for that matter. I'm just wondering if we're going to actually get um Devil deal items out of this or if because of chaos, they'll just be like normal items, but either way. I think it's a good idea Those are definitely devil deal items <laughs> It's it, you're probably right. It's all the like uh, Cadbury mini eggs and stuff like that 
Those cream eggs, they probably got like 30 grams of sugar in each one. I stood right in the middle of that. Wait, wait, wait. Does a theme, a theme has a higher chance to give you uh Demon hearts, right? It's good. Oh, no, no, they took it out. I forgot they took it out. I tried to save it by uh, by ranking it in the D tier, but you guys had no chill. You were like, he's a fool. It's an A tier. Edmund watched and was like, oh, we got to knock that out in the DLC. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Made them nerf a D tier item because you couldn't keep your chill. It's one heck of a room. Okay, leave that. We can go to the curse room now. It's a great song, you gotta admit. Apollo, have you caught um, a, a Hound Doom yet? I don't know if you're still here. You, you basically said, told people to shut up and then left, which I really, and this is genuine, I respect. You are here, okay. You said good one, thank you. I learned it from Chibli. <laughs> I thought I had a joke for you the other day, but I can't remember what it was. It was a good one though, like rest assured. Like in my head, I was like, oh, Apollo would love this one. So like if you could just laugh and say thank you, that would be ideal. Sounds funny. Like it was a good one. Haha, <laughs> TY. <laughs> what? Alright. At least at least he took himself out of the equation there for a second. I've never seen large bombmen. Man, you know what'd be crazy? You know what'd be one heck of a meme? Is like, imagine if we like picked up a, a damage upgrade at some point. Sorry, sorry. That's not fair. We have the pact. I don't see what you're complaining about. You've you've been uh, you've only been on the run for 38 minutes. You already have one damage upgrade. Like, I don't see what you're complaining about. Yeah, the mark. That's what I meant. Same difference. This is gonna do it, man. This is gonna do it. Okay. Blanket is holy mantle on the boss fight. And a bunch of flies. I actually think that's pretty amazing. I think we need that for maximum devil deals. Then we use the devil deals to give us the maximum chance of... Uh, actually getting a useful item. Despite the fact that... Now that I think about it, it's not gonna... It's gonna be chaos, but still... Okay. Wham. Dull Razor a theme? I, again, it's like, you're not necessarily wrong, but like... We got it, it's It takes a lot to get rid of Wooden Nickel. And I'm not sure that like, a theme doing a little damage is, uh, is what we're looking for. They, they won't even let me keep the Hanged Man. Yeah, if we had swallowed Penny, then then maybe for well, if we had swallowed Penny, then definitely. <clears throat> okay, I'm feeling okay here. This is like the boss I love to see. This boss listens to reason. It it does attacks that in some circumstances are dodgeable. Which I'm, I highly approve of. I was literally just about to pick up the freaking... My devil... No, we still got a good devil deal chance. How did that happen? Well, it, like as good as it was when, before we came in. Because we had already taken a hit, I think. Don't hit me, dude. Come on. Be reasonable. Oh, it's because it's not the final room yet. It's an XL floor. 
Yeah, okay, well, you know, suppose we might as well. <laughs> I mean, I'd still like to win this blue baby, like, you know, it's, it's still got to be done as well. Mm, this is going to be annoying. Yeah, I'm less worried I would... <laughs> my god. I'd, I'd say for the time being, like, I'm less worried about my character. And much more worried about, like, how I'm gonna get the means with which to actually, like, finish this run. Because it's a little... Uh, unimpressive right now. It's a little underpowered. Hello. <clears throat> Come on. You're taking like 12 shots right to the face. Actually, now I'm just like, I'm, I'm concerned we may actually just die. We have invisible enemies? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. A Thane will take care of them. Can of corn? <laughs> Can of corn and I'll be alright. Invisible Martys, welcome. Okay, what's 16% chance? It's like one in... one in six. Pick a number between one and six, chat. Everybody that said four, you're getting the deal with the devil. Clip farming 101, baby. Don't kill me. Don't, just begging you not to kill me. <laughs> I just, I mean, we gotta take dad's ring. Use, oh, get me out of here. Okay, okay, hold on. D7, reroll rewards. Don't mind if I don't. Elden Ring. Yeah, Apollo, don't be shy. Tell us what you ordered. I had some poke yesterday. Saved? I haven't chosen yet? Well, don't be shy. What are the options? It sucks. Oh, I guess you, you probably got like a low choice coefficient today because of uh, Easter Sunday, right? That's probably one of those times you sign into Uber Eats and it's like all you got is, uh, you know, it's like Burger King Pizza Hut. I'm about to get Zaxby's. I'm the Zaxby's, a scooby doo dee ba 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 like that, da ba ba da ba ba ya ba ba da ba You know the vibe. Zaxby's is good? I've never, I've never had it. Canada lags behind in the, in the, the chicken game. We got great, I mean, in Vancouver at least, great, like, Korean fried chicken, but as far as, like, chain chicken restaurants, not so much. Popeyes is starting to spread. There's a few churches. I think there's, like, a Chick-fil-A in, in downtown Toronto. You know what we need in Canada, man? We need some Shake Shacks. Admittedly, I've only eaten at one, but like, I was very impressed. I was very impressed. I, you know, that's the kind of thing where you're like, maybe if I didn't have 0 0.9 speed, there would be some hope for me. Yo, Shadow Insurgent. Thank you for the gifted subs as well. Mm, mama, that's fine. At least we got the the coin. Shortcut? Oh, that's not a shortcut at all. The speed, man. Okay, good, 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 good. Don't get trapped. Get saved. 
long room. I was set up for failure there. Like, I've only... I saw someone say... Let's go, by the way. I, I, da baby, let's go. I saw someone say that Five Guys is better than Shake Shack. I will own up to the fact that I've only eaten at uh, one Five Guys and one Shake Shack. But it wasn't even close. Like, the Shake Shack blew it out of the water. Maybe it was a bad Five Guys. Maybe it was a great Shake Shack. But it was like, it wasn't even a contest. Bro. I'm still gonna die. What? Ah, he's the smartest man alive! Saved. Hmm. Joanna won. New Joanna just dropped. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I know it's very... Like, North America is a land of um, contradictions. I guess, you know, it's just anytime you get a lot of people, there's a lot of opinions, right? Everybody eats uh, from chain restaurants now and then, but you have to, like, almost pretend that it never happens or, like, you were forced into it, like, you didn't have a choice. If you were ever, like, where do you want to eat and you're an adult and you say Wendy's, people will get, like, in your face. They'll be like, you can eat anywhere. You live in a, a city with amazing food options. You want to eat at Wendy's? Like, dude, sometimes it... Spicy chicken would just hit the spot. This is highly scary. Straight up, I'm like, out back. She's like, eh. Chilies. Eh. So then finally I suggested Taylor's, which is the place I knew she wanted to go anyway. And she was like, if that's what you want, Daryl, I looked that woman right in the windows of her soul, and I said, "I can't, I can't do the thing where I don't look at the screen. I'm gonna die." Hmm. What am I doing? What? It worked. I'm alive. I'm great. Hmm. That's the thing. Like, I do. I love a chain restaurant. It's not. It doesn't make up the bulk of my my food intake. I don't know what how to stop you. Okay, so if you could just frick off. Um, I named seven more restaurants. No, no. Finally, I suggested Taylor's, the place I knew she wanted to go anyway. Anyway, I like a I like a chain uh, I like a chain restaurant. Because then, like I've said it before, you don't just get a meal, you get a conversation too. Because you can talk about the restaurant that you ate at with other people who have eaten at that restaurant. Instead of like, you know, in you know in Vancouver, I could go eat at like an amazing place. I could go eat at like Miku or, you know, Bishop's or something like that. But if I'm talking to somebody that's from South Carolina, I can't be like, oh, I ate at this awesome place you've never heard of before. You know what I mean? I mean, you could do it, but the, it's very, like, you know, it's self-aggrandizing. You're just like, let me tell you about this awesome meal I ate that you can't possibly have the same experience of. Instead, you go you go eat at a Long John Silver's, you could be like, you know what I had yesterday? Long John Silver's. They'll be like, yo, Pog, or, ooh, Monka. Don't you know that the CEO of Long John Silver's 19 years ago was on a news interview and he said like he uh, hates charities or something like that and you're like oh come on man I, di I didn't look that up in the full audit before I bought the hush puppies but it's pretty sweet right it's a fun time come on man <laughs> I just walked out I suggested seven more restaurants yeah, I'm gonna be really mad if uh, America kills Long John Silver's before I get to eat there. I guess they're not really in an expansion phase, right? Like, they're kind of on the way out. Uh, well, nevertheless, okay, okay, that's something. I don't know why I'm like, 
lying to myself saying like there's any chance Long John Silver's is gonna like, you know, they're coming back, man. They're coming back. I don't even know what you do. Like, I don't know what your thing is. How can like a, a chain seafood restaurant be bad? Like if you deep fry almost anything that came from the ocean, it tastes great. I don't understand how you could screw it up. The fish is fine. Joey's only is bad. Yo, you pump the brakes. In in my hometown, well, if in my in my hometown, if you're uptown, Joey's, that's the place where you go. If you want fish and chips. If you're downtown, you probably go to the pilot house or something, but. Okay, okay, now we're talking. Fush and chops. Shut up, mom. Where's my fush and chops? Oh, the tower. You know they buffed it recently? I've heard they've recently added more hops. Take Book of Shadows? It's actually like a really good idea. <laughs> That's like an insanely good idea. Also an insanely good idea? What the heck? Uh, don't pick up the coin when you don't need it. What are you doing? Come on. What are you, you, are you busking? This is so tricky. Oh, I, dude, do we have Epiphora? Am I insane? We've had Epiphora this whole time, huh? Would have helped us out on some of these rooms that take 20 years, i.e. every room in the game. <laughs> So I know Apollo's here, so I'm laying it on a little thick. We did get a deal, okay. I mean, I feel like Charm of the Vampire is pretty sick here. Uh, Holy Grail, unfortunately, is not good for us. Unless I'm missing something, but... Holy Grail does damage now. It's worthless now. It's good now. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Head eyes, I'm dead. Are you shooting? Are you walking on metal? I don't know, just take it. Hard to argue with that, honestly. Okay, I guess, you know, I'm trying to think. It is nice to explore, because we get more money. Like, oh, we only need to do this, this menagerie one time, right? Like. If we could just get a, like a combo that just wins the game for you, it would, would really go a long way. Wait, this would be Bookworm. Or it could just be a key as well that could be stolen from me. Cool, yeah. Yeah, Brimstone would hit the spot, no doubt about that. Dude, every, every YouTube uh, run of Isaac is either, or let me rephrase, every stream VOD that ends up as a standalone episode on YouTube is either 80 minutes long or 21 minutes long. There's literally no exception. It's just, it's, it's madness. It's a war of attrition. Yeah. Okie dokie. Just a wee bit of trolling. I mean, I'm not upset about the the Holy Grail situation. We sp it's fine. We got keys. We spent some money on something we didn't need to spend money on. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Not secret rooms. Possible secret room? That's really good. That's very valuable. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I know you're 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 not like the best demon judgment we could ever ask for, but you're the demon judgment we got, chaos or otherwise. I'm keeping the salt mostly at bay, cause I, you know, 
And that, that's not really like who I am as a streamer. Is like let's just complain about things. I mean, like I complain about things in real life. When it comes to the games, I'm like the games are precious. Don't don't uh, don't insult the games. Um, that being said, like I'm. There's been a couple repentance runs where I'm like, who hurt you? <laughs> it's your favorite thing to complain about? It's definitely like people not like I don't know, it, it's very minor. I would never try to suggest like it's good like or a, a healthy frame of mind. The number one thing I complain about is is in this recurring theme of people like being so lost in their own world they inhibit other people around them. You know, distracted drivers People ask him for, you know, too many samples at the deli counter, stuff like that is like, you know, stuff that turns you into the Joker, but like in a, in a very pedestrian sense. Please, don't give me hope. No, key beggar. You know what? Sure. Just go for it, man. Just, just go for it, man. Oh, don't even get me started on that on the anti-maskers, dude. And now, like, we got they they shut down indoor dining in the uh, Vancouver, but so now they took the they made patios, but then they closed in the patios, so they made the outside inside, but it's like apparently that's like some kind of loophole or something like that where the virus is like, oh, we can't do anything. Like, they made the inside outside. Exactly. We made the outside inside. Yeah, everybody, everybody knows, like, the virus is powerless if you're on a patio. Especially one that's been closed in and has literally no ventilation. And if you're in a classroom. Like, it just, it, it simply can't hurt you. All the science is, it, it points to this, this one conclusion. But mostly, like, I mean, I, I'm not trying, like, we can just stay inside. Like, I, you know, that's, we're, we're, we're blessed in that sense that we can essentially just, look, it's mighty tempting. I don't think we're going to lose our, uh, I don't think we're going to lose the knife in the process. This might be a genuine reroll here. I think we do it. I have no idea what this is, but it's actually freaking sick. Let's let's try it out. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. It seems pretty good. We did lose wooden nickel. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's that's suboptimal. <laughs> um. But, like, I, I think we're on the cusp of things getting, like, pretty bad in Canada again. Hopefully it's, like, the last time they get pretty bad. Um, because the, you know, vaccination obviously is, like, ongoing. But it's, like, on the cusp of, like, real badness here again. Like, this genuinely, I'm not trying to, like, bring it down. But, like, in BC and Ontario right now, like, this is the most apprehensive I've, I've been about COVID since, like, last... March or last April, maybe. The the spread of the variants here in particular, and you know that that combined with the fact that like absolutely, well, I shouldn't say nobody, but like so few people seem to actually be doing precautions anymore because they're like, uh, my grandma got vaccinated, so the whole thing's over. You know, as as soon as like vaccines started happening, like oh now now that everybody in South Dakota can get vaccinated, like why should I have to wear a mask in Canada? You know, like it's it's getting a little a uh, little spicy up here again for sure. But we can just uh, you know we're lucky we work from home. Okay, that's pretty sick. We, we can mostly just hang out at home and, you know, ride it out till we get vaccinated, which seems like it's probably going to be 
Hopefully in May, but maybe in early June. Just still, like, I mean, it's, it's a ways away, but it's, you know, it, the finish line, at least, you know, part of the finish line <laughs> is on the horizon. Yeah, we must have Curse of the... Or not Curse, we must have Dogtooth. Okay. What's our... Do, do you think we still have Guppy? No. Do you think we still have Brim? No. Do you think we still have the Ankh? That's what I was trying to say. Because we have an extra life. But I don't know what it came from. How did the U.S. manage to beat Canada at vaccines? Well, like, aren't... I, I was going to say, aren't you, but, like... Oh, the green one-up follow me. You're right. Isn't the U.S., like, making them? They, if they produce it, like, it makes... It makes sense. Plus, like, and again, this is, like, the overly mature response. Like, obviously, like, I want to get vaccinated, but, like... Things were worse in the U.S. It makes sense from a public health standpoint that they would get them first although that's not really how they're being distributed i guess like in terms of greatest need but it's it's kind of hard to be too salty about it when there's still the opportunity to just be mad at like my own uh fellow citizens for like just not following the precautions at all okay hold on hold on <laughs> you can tap shoot it's a little slow but I can tap shoot. We need to find a way to get some money. You know what? Justice card. Now we're talking. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. This is definitely not GG. I'm, I resent the GG call here. Yeah, it, I, I mean, we got the same thing, because don't, we don't even need to get into it, like, too much, but, um... Great damage! Okay, this actually might be GG. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we take. Just make sure you take the alt path. That's, that's insanely good damage. That sucks. Thank God we had the Justice card backing us up. We, we still need some form of defense. Like, I'm not getting my hopes up too much yet. I'm shaking. Saved. I told you, like, nobody cares about the defense, man, until it's too late. We need, we need like, one more thing here to, to really get it going. Um, but, yeah, we got, like, the same thing going in, uh, in Vancouver where there's, like, a few restaurants that are like, no, we're not going to shut down. And then they've become, like, you know, rallying points for uh, idiocy, <laughs> to be fair. And uh, and it's just like, oh, it's just like, I, I'm i just, like, exclusively, my, my only reaction is, like, I'm just, I'm just Ben Affleck.jpg, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm either picking up a bunch of Dunkin' Donuts on my front step, begging the paparazzi not to take a photo of me, or, like, I'm smoking a cigarette on my front step, just being like, oh, I'm so sick of this <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> like, you could just wait. You just wait, like, like two months. And the government doesn't want you to have sangria on the patio. I'm like, I just, just, just two months. Just do it in May. The weather's not even, like, nice yet. The government doesn't want you to have mozzarella sticks with your friends. Okay, we, we need bombs for sure. Oh. <laughs> no? Not yet. Not yet. We hold them. We hold them and we use it as a... Uh... We use it as a desperation play. Like, there was somebody on the uh... <laughs> Vancouver subreddit I was laughing so hard. Like, they're... Not all of them, but, like, they're so gleeful about, like, breaking the rules. And I'm just like, like, somebody was like, Hey, don't want to make you guys jealous, but I have 18 friends over right now at my house playing video games. And they posted it, like, like, on 10 different threads. And I'm just like, 
Nobody cares, loser. You really, you got 18 friends over at your house and you're like, I gotta go post about it on Reddit? Like, are you, are you stupid? Also, you've got 18 friends over at your house playing video games? What the hell are you playing? Are you doing like a full EU4 game? Like... If so, like that makes me a little more jealous than anything else, to be honest. You're playing Jackbox, you little shit? Two full Among Us lobbies? Sorry, Paul, I didn't want it's your day off. I don't wanna. I was just like, man, you posted it like like a hundred times. <laughs> it's it's just kind of humorous. I've never been in a situation where I've like been at like a party and having a great time and been like, hold on, I gotta go post about it. On on Reddit of all places. Hey you Okay. This keep it moving. Okay, that's stonks. In this business we say stonks and then we head down to the next floor. That's not good, because we really could have used something that gave us a material advantage instead of merely some currency, but it is what it is. It, it just reminds me of, like, that, um, the Nathan Fielder picture that's, like, you know, having a great time with my friends. They're all here laughing just out of frame. Like, it, it, it's just like I'm having... Me and my friends are having such a good time. You guys are so owned right now, like living in fear, watching Netflix. I've got 18 of my closest friends over playing video games, just out of frame. You think, does Yamhart give us a coin as the keeper or a fly? It probably just gives us a fly. You know what? We got money, we got keys, like we might as well test it. Yo, it gives us a coin, dude. It gives us a coin. Or nothing. But it makes me think that it's giving me a coin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. You live. I'm telling you, though, like, uh, and this is like, I, I'm apologizing, like, on behalf of Canadians, okay? Um,. To, to my American countrymen, because if you're like American or, or from the UK and you're getting like vaccinated already and you're, you know, 17 or 20 or whatever, you, your, your Canadian friends are going to be like a little annoyed, you know? I, f I find myself even getting a little annoyed. It's, it's not a, uh, it's not a nice thing to say, but it's like, you know, even like a couple of weeks ago, I was like, I'm happy for people, but I really wish that I was getting vaccinated too. So that, like, I could go out and eat dinner. And now, like, things are getting kind of bad. And now I'm like, I want to get vaccinated so I can not end up in a hospital with that P1 variant. So I, I really do think that we're getting into a position where, like, the, the vaccine FOMO is going to hit, like, a fever pitch for a bit. Just I just ask you to, like, be nice to, you know, Canadians recognize, you know, it's not your American friend's fault that, you know, you're not vaccinated yet. And then, uh, you know, Americans recognize that if the shoe were on the other foot, you'd, you'd probably be a little annoyed as well. Well, let's give it a try, man. I still see us getting hit. Use it. Oh, no. Okay, we get hit one more time, we take the pill. Please. He can keep getting away with it. <laughs> it's still hard, man. It's still hard. I lived somehow. Where's my coin? Saved. I'm alive again! Okay, let's do some exploring. <laughs> this boss is so freaking hard, dude. You got something for me? Hey! 
<laughs> I would have lost my freaking mind. I would have. I might have uninstalled. You might have caught me in a moment of weakness, and I, I might have uninstalled right there. Freaking sexy mimics. It's so difficult. You know, don't, we need it. We, I mean, I, I get what people are saying. Like, put bombs out there, but like, even. I mean, I, I, I think it's like one of those things where I'm just like, we're still gonna get hit. Like, we're. G <laughs> And try as I might, like, the damage output will help out a lot, don't get me wrong. It's gonna be worth something. Unfortunately, it, assuming... Yeah, okay, that was one up. So we actually can't get... It, there's no point, really, to playing the Blood Bank. We could use that for one extra, like, HP in a moment of weakness, but... The blood bank has has low value right now. Okay. Donkey, dunk, dunk, donkey, dunk. I don't know, man. I feel like we're we're still better off with Yumheart than than Book of Belial. Like, I still feel like defense is the name of the game. Like, we're not gonna be rushing this guy down to the point that he's gonna like. Like, I, I don't think having like super high damage output is gonna get us there. That's what I'm saying. Isn't the blood bank free? Okay, now now you're gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here, because uh, I mean that's something we covered like right at the start of the run. Come on, just get. <laughs> I can't do it. It can't be done. It can't be done. Can be done. I can't do it right now. We gotta give ourselves a try. I'm trying to think of what card it could even be that would really send us. And there's some stuff that would be half decent. But then there's other stuff that I'm like, I mean, I don't think it would be enough to move the needle. I think the best way to move the needle is to not die... Son of a... <laughs> For no reason. Try to get it moving. Drop some bombs in there. Drop some, drop more bombs in there. I think we're on one hit. I'm one tapped. He's one tapped. I walked into it. We were gonna die anyway. But that's not the way you want to go. <laughs> the, the odds of me not getting hit in phase two are pretty low. Dude, this run is uh is hard. 